Hello everyone, I'm Swapnil M. Mane from Harvix Commerce. In this video, we'll be looking at how developers can set up the storefront UI Storybook on their local machine. Storybook is an open source tool for developing UI component in isolation for React, Vue, and Angular. The Storybook of Storefront UI can be found at storybook.storefrontui.io. Whenever new components is introduced or we make changes in existing component, we use a storybook to document it. So if you are writing or contributing a new component to a storefront UI or you have made improvement in existing component, the respective storybook story should be updated. Let's have a look at the setup process. The steps are very simple. Clone the storefront UI project. It is at github.com devante forward slash storefront dash UI. I've already cloned it. So you can simply git clone and clone this project. The second step is to install the dependency. If you are using npm, run the npm install command. And if you are using yarn, you can simply run the yarn command. This will install all your packages defined in package.json. Since I have uh, already run this command, uh, my all the packages are already installed. Now we can simply serve the storybook. So if you are using npm, you can run npm run storybook colon serve command. And if you are using yarn, you can run yarn storybook dot serve. This command will start the storybook. Let's have a look at the heading component as an example. The implementation of heading component is written in sfheading.view and its story is defined in sfheadingstories.js. Here you can make changes in this story and it will be reflected in the storybook. For example, let me change the title this is new title so you can see the changes is automatically reflect in the storybook similarly you can make the changes in the story of this storybook if you are new to storybook and not familiar with the syntax i will recommend to have a look at a storybook document it's simple and easy to use the official website of storybook is storybook.js.org. Thanks so much for watching.